Hi Taurus, oh, welcome to your reading. Guys, y'all know this reading is meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know and sense about your person and the circumstances. If this one doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sun positions, your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Sometimes in love and relationships, uh, signs in your 7th or 8th house may resonate. And if you're having an affair, pursuit of pleasure, 5th house, sign in your 5th house may be the one that resonates. Let's jump in, guys. Let's see your person's energy. This is for my Taurus, their person's energy right now. What's going on with my Taurus's person? We got ah, 8 of Cups. Let's clarify on that Eight of Cups. Clarify on the Eight of Cups. Well, coming out, we got a page of cups. Eight and a page of cups. Ooh. <laughs> okay, with this one, guys, somebody is uh, considering walking away. Mm -hmm. considering what's important to them in the present moment. They do feel emotionally vulnerable or overwhelmed with that page of cups. Let's do your energy from their perspective. Ooh, you offering some love. They scared. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, what else? Or you, you're the opportunity for them to love. Wow. We're taking them. I'm going to take all of them. What did they pull out here for us? Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. And Six of Pentacles. Invest in time and energy. Hmm. Let's come back to their energy for a minute. I want, I want to clarify some more. Clarify on that Eight of Cups for me. Oh, okay. Uh, four of Wands reversed. Am I holding upside down? No, I'm not. Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. It's Capricorn energy on the bottom of the deck right now. Six of Wands, pressure. Feeling pressure over here. Mm. And Page of Swords wanting to communicate. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, with this over here for real, uh, we've got all the aces over here. The person knows that there's an opportunity uh, to step in a connection with you, heart connection, uh, but also to build something tangible. But it's they've they've got to they're feeling pressured of live up to something with uh, the eight of pentacles. That's perfectionism or working towards uh, perfecting something, uh, investing time and energy into perfecting uh, uh the heart connection and building something this person actually i uh, walked away they were feeling emotionally vulnerable not sure about what what they really wanted um they weren't ready to step into something solid because their your energy is offering them something solid to level up into building something solid here and uh, that probably scared them because all of a sudden they feel very pressured and like they're, they're in spotlight energy like they've got to live up to something um, with that page of swords we got uh, two pages on them uh, that's sort of um, a youthful kind of energy that's vulnerable uh, their thoughts are, are they they don't feel like they can communicate very well and express their thoughts very well, much less express their feelings very well. Mm. Seven of Wands, putting, putting up a wall, feeling like they need to protect their self. Uh, okay. We just basically got somebody that's like uh, escaping <laughs> from what they're afraid of. Uh, feeling like it, they're not good enough or they would never be good enough or that they can handle uh, what what you're offering over here because a lot of stability is over here with potential to grow and build in the connection. 
but the person is scared for some reason. Let's get a little bit more confirmation for you, Taurus. Let's come in on their energy when it comes to the connection with Taurus. What's going on? New chapter. A fresh start is always good for everyone. Doors are opening for this new phase within your love life. Yeah, like I said, the, we're offering something. It's stable. It's good. But for some reason, it's scaring this person. They're feeling emotionally overwhelmed and vulnerable, like they've got to live up to something. Your energy over here, you're picking up that disharmony. There seems to be some disconnect. Use this time to address any issues to restore harmony in this relationship. Yeah, you are, you definitely are wanting to talk, it, but it's like I said, this person is going to have a hard time expressing thoughts and feelings uh, in a coherent way to us because I don't feel like they truly understand what's unnerved them about this. Um, so, but we've already picked up on it and we're, we're wanting to talk about it. This person is just scared. They're feeling pressured for some reason. Or when I say pressured, I mean pressured to live up to something. <laughs> I got to be something I haven't perceived myself to be before. On the bottom of the deck, we do have safe place. There's nothing like being able to let your guard down and know that you are protected by your partner's love. Ooh, it's that's uh, having that on the bottom of the deck. That's a good energy uh, in the connection. But like I said, all of a sudden, this person is is bouncing i don't know how else to put it just bouncing all over the place emotions are all over the place for them also taurus i hope that was enough to give you confirmation do you think these messages are meant for you let's jump in let's get them to put some energy onto a deck and talk to us mm, right right off the bat they do it good uh -huh. getting this one but hang on, energy is still moving with me. And this one, okay. Let's get it going. It's for my Taurus's person. It's Taurus's person. Taurus. Uh -oh. I made the wrong decision. I can't stop kicking myself. You meant more to me than I let on. Denial. Been in denial. The timing just wasn't right for us. Is that two? That's like two cards. It is, guys. Hang on. Ooh. Where did the love and passion go in our relationship? Okay. For somebody, um, not sure, but for maybe for all of us, I don't know. I'm, uh, I feel like I'm supposed to tell you to take the past tense off of the messages. Uh, not, they're not speaking in past, they're speaking in present and anxiety about the future. Well, if we lose the love and passion in our relationship, what if this changes the way we feel about each other? What else? Things need to change between us. Stop talking about the past. Oh, there it went, guys. <laughs> Don't put any of the messages into past tense. I hate not knowing what's going on. You never trusted me. You never trusted. It's passive. It may be a question. Maybe asking you a question. I wanted so badly for you to love me, but I'm accepting that is impossible. 
why don't you love me? Ooh, guys, what is going on with them? Cards were showing from from their perspective. You're actually loving them. You're offering them, a, you know, something stable, something real. I now realize your value. I didn't realize how much I love you until it was too late. It's from a Taurus. I wish I had fought harder for us. Remember, put it in present tense or future tense. I wish I could fight for us. Hmm. What if you finally see I'm not good enough for you? Anything else? Mm -hmm. I'm lost without you. My love for you and them has ripped me apart. I regret that I took you for granted. Or took this for granted. This, this. Extremely stressed right now. I'm afraid I can't give you what you need. I couldn't let you get close to me. I could never keep someone like you. else my past still haunts me can we please keep things the way they are it hurts to think that you don't trust me mm. I can't make up my mind I'm at a crossroad when it comes to this connection. Too good for me. What if you wake up and realize I'm not good enough? Guys, they're having some issues with self self doubt and doubting their self. Wow. Let's try positive thought. What if I am wonderful? Oh. Let's get on talking with this deck, guys. Talk to us. I'm becoming a better person. I hide my feelings, though. Let me break this down, make it easier on my hands. You are the best thing in my life. You are the best thing in my life. Do I still have a chance? I'm starting to understand our connection. I don't want to let you go. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. You don't know how hard it is to think about letting you go. I can't reach out. I can't talk about it yet. I can't talk about it yet. Anything else? Mm -hmm. I know you don't feel the same. You let me down. You let me down. No, you don't feel the same. Let's shuffle this deck real quick. Get the last messages from it. Oh, pop. You speak to me through music. I don't want to know. 
I don't want to know. Anything else? Yeah. I left you before you could leave me. I pulled away. Anything else? Uh -huh. I have too much to lose. Too much to lose. Ooh, Taurus, guys. I hope that was helpful. Y'all stay blessed.